This was my father's camera when he was alive, God rest his soul, a Minolta XE1. And actually the lens I'm shooting with right now went with this camera, was on this camera when I found it after he passed away. It's a Minolta Telesaur 28mm f2.8 and I also have a Minolta 50mm roll core f1.4 that he had as well. So this was the camera. So what's so cool about that? Well, come here, let me show you. And so this was the camera bag that I found when my father passed away, which is a cool camera bag, leather, old. It came in this case, the actual camera, which is kind of cool. It's got these zippers and straps and all this stuff. So it even came with the manual and the actual serial number and all the good stuff. Like I got everything here, it's amazing. And so good memories, right? So what's the coolest part of this? The coolest part of this is, bear with me for a sec, this bag did not come with this, but I have two of these. These are rolls of film that I'm about to get developed and see what was left in my father's bag before he died. And I have no idea what's in these and I'm pretty excited because I don't have any pictures of me when I was little. So obviously these are not gonna be when I was little. My father passed away though a long time ago. I was pretty young, but um, you know, I was, a, I was an adult, a young adult at that time. But I'm still really curious what's gonna be in these rolls of film. So it was really hard to find a place that actually developed film up here but I found a CVS that does it, so they're gonna send it out, so I'm gonna bring it there today. I'll get it back in about two or three weeks, and then I'll let you know what I find. So, I'm pretty nervous, but I'm pretty excited at the same time. Um, yeah, see what happens. Dream I go where no one else goes. Dream I know what no one um, else knows. I don't think I mentioned. This film has been sitting since 1988, at least, probably before that. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see if this, first of all, if the film even lasts that long, just sitting around doing nothing. I mean, I'm kind of assuming that it does, but I don't know for sure. But um, we'll see what happens. I am a little nervous about it, so we'll see what happens. Let's do this. Eluded by the good luck star. Face the fight with every step. Still I prevail. I prevail. I Okay, we are here. Let's take this film and get it developed. Dream, I can dream. Dream, I found my senses. Dream, I won the game. Dream, God filled me with grace. Dream, I can fly through space. That all is possible. Life is possible. Love is possible. If I can dream, if I can dream, all is possible, love is possible, 
three weeks and we'll see what we have a little nervous but should be cool so what is it that I'm even hoping for um, I'm not really sure you know I'm not really sure um, I guess I want to see what was on his mind in the last couple of months of his life, you know? Uh, where he took his camera. Like, I didn't, I never asked him any questions or anything like that about his photography. Um, I don't know what he liked to shoot or when. I just know that when I was a little kid, I forbid him to take pictures of me. Um, so I'm just kind of curious, you know, like now that I'm, you know, somebody who never leaves home without his camera, a filmmaker, uh, you know, like, this is my life now. <laughs> I can't believe that, you know, I don't have the opportunity to even ask him any questions about it. Um, and that uh, he will never know that I'm even doing this. So, yeah, I'm just kind of curious, like, what, what was he doing with his camera the last couple months of his life? And uh, what, did he, what did he see? Like, I kind of, I guess I kind of want to see the world at that time through his eyes. Um, I, I'm kind of curious what the photos look like, you know, or his settings correct, stuff like that, you know. Was he shooting in auto mode? <laughs> was it, well, it was all manual, you know, there was no auto mode, I don't think, so. Um, I know the lenses were manual, so I'd kind of like to see if things were in focus. If I wonder if he knew about zone focusing and stuff like that. I mean, he was a photographer in the, in, in the war, you know, in the army. So, yeah, he had to know what he was doing. So, and I guess I'm kind of curious if there's, you know, any personal, really personal insight into his, who he was, you know, like, I feel like I didn't, I didn't learn enough about who the man was, you know, that was my father, because I had such a poor relationship with him for most of my life. Um, I'm wondering if through his art, he kind of opened up a window to his soul a little bit and, and maybe I could get some kind of some kind of a view in there of who the man was um, so yeah I'm really curious you know I hope I hope there's something you know I don't even know if the film can last that long I mean it's been since 1988 who knows how long that film had been there before he died um, so I don't know I guess we'll just see what happens um, I'm a little nervous about it I'm hopeful. I guess I'm nervous that there's going to be nothing there, you know, and that's going to be pretty disappointing. But, you know, I guess whatever, you know, then I'll have what I had before, you know, like I haven't lost anything. But um, now that I started this process, I want something to come from it. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. I guess, I guess I'm hoping to see like at least some pictures of my mother. You know, I mean, I'm assuming I'm not going to see any pictures of, of him because he's probably taken the pictures. But, you know, honestly, I haven't seen anybody in my family in years. Extended, immediate, like I've been totally disconnected, kind of estranged from everybody. And uh, also, I don't have any family pictures. 
So, you know, I'm wondering if there's like, you know, pictures of holiday, you know, a holiday or something like that, or, you know, Thanksgiving or Passover or some kind of an event. Um, I have no idea. I don't know what my father was doing <laughs> the last time he had his camera. So, yeah, I'm hoping that there's something, you know, like, I hope it's not nothing that's going to hurt my heart. But um, it would be nice, you know, I haven't really thought about anybody in a long time, and it would definitely be kind of nice to uh, see my mom. I miss her. And also to know that my father took that picture to see what she looks like, you know, looking into the camera. <laughs> If she gave him like a sarcastic look or, you know, if there's any love there. We'll see what happens.